What up, YouTube? Thought I'd make one more video. So I played two Blitz games last night, and I had similar things that I missed in both of them. So I thought we could go over that. So e4, d5, takes, takes. I play the knight f3 line just to get black out of book. And here, after e5, I knew that this is not really a good line, and you could transpose into the knight c3 line. Um, and then afterwards, yeah, engine just says this is a great position. Just develop my pieces. For some reason, I thought I was supposed to play d4 here. I mean, this is also fine. Uh, black plays e4. And I thought about playing knight d2 and just trying to win this pawn right away. I assume if f5, black's just in a ton of trouble. Um... Yeah, maybe ideas of bringing the queen out at some point. And yeah, black just has no no development. And if here, you know, I didn't see a way to, uh, that's funny, I'm, I'm just saying I didn't see a way to win the pawn. The computer says just take the pawn right now. Oh, done, I can just pin this knight. And yeah, this is bad. I'm just up a piece. Oh no, I'm just winning my piece back. And I'm up a pawn. So, yeah, that's one thing I could have done. Instead I came here. This is probably also good. My idea is I want to put the bishop here for pressure on this pawn. Or maybe put the knight here attack the queen. This is all good. This is all good. And, uh, yeah. I missed the same idea in both games. That's why I thought this was interesting. Both games... I don't think I played these games back to back, but I played them all in the course of half hour. And the idea that I wasn't thinking about here, I was thinking about attacking the queen. I was tend to get super obsessed about winning a pawn back. This is a blitz game, by the way, three minute game, which I don't recommend to my viewers or anybody unless you're already like master strength, because you're really just mostly practicing bad habits. But if you do insist on playing three minute games, two minute games, bullet games, at least uh, analyze them like this. So, yeah, I played bishop e2, which is okay. Played knight f6 at castles. Now I won the pawn, and I should have won this game. Obviously, this is a great position for me. Um, yeah, I took that. Kind of lame, because his knight is crap, and if he takes me, I could take back with bishop and his queen. Engine just recommends here. Uh, instead, I took... I played this kind of lame move. C C3. I mean, C3 would have been good before, but now it's kind of lame because I'm just losing this pawn for nothing. I knew I couldn't play bishop C4 because this pawn drops, but knight C4. Um, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I didn't do this. C3, I lost the pawn. Yeah, now it's, like, equal. Um, but anyway, that's not what this video is about, and then I'm blundering and losing. It's, like, three-minute game, but... uh. Point is, instead of bishop e2, okay, his, his queen is out, his pieces are awkward, and my knights are well placed. And here knight b4 is a good move. Um, just a lot of pressure here. And it's nice, his bishop can't come back here to defend that square, because I'll just take it, either with the knight or the bishop. He can't come back here, because I'll take with check, then to take here with the rook. Um, his queen can't come back and help. It's conveniently, bam, bam, all covered. Uh, so we'd have to play king d8 or something. Here, I'll just give the engine line just to show that white's doing well in all cases. Another good move. Um, if he takes, I take back, discover check, then take here. And uh, yeah, just getting a lot of a lot of pressure. Moves like this aren't too hard to find. Castle queen side. And uh, okay, you might think well. White hasn't won any material yet, but it's a dominating position. I mean, still in a blitz game, I could screw this up and lose. But look at this king in the center. Um, yeah, this is great, great position for white. So now I'm going to show you the next game. So yeah, here's the next game. This game, my opponent started with knight c6, but after knight f3, he transposed into a Scandinavian. And here he played e5 right away. The other game was slightly different. 
Oh yeah, I I I played d4 in response to e5, and I already had my knight out on c3. So this is slightly better version for black than the other version. Attack his queen, he pins me. And here again, similar theme. Again, his pieces are awkwardly placed. This time he doesn't have a dark square bishop anymore. And just knight b5. Um, if he comes back with the queen, I can trade queens. And he has to take with the king. Oh, and this pawn is hanging. I could castle queen side. This is a great position. And yeah, if he takes me, I don't even see how he's defending this. Yeah. And then just says give it up. So this is a shorter example, but a uh, similar theme. And something I didn't consider, but now we will consider in these lines where black's pieces are awkward and his queen is out. Pretty much you, you should always think about, uh, well, obviously everyone's always thinking about captures and checks, but always think about weaknesses um, that can't be defended. And in this case, similarly, Whereas a uh, black queen can't go here or here. Um, yeah, this pawn is indefensible. I feel like um, you should treat this pawn and this pawn very, uh, just be very mindful of those pawns, like both for yourself and your opponent, because they're very often targets. And most people know this, I know this, but it's important to uh, just think about in what openings they're going to be the most weak and always look for these opportunities which I didn't think about in these uh, three minute games but next time I will so yeah weakness on c7 is the theme of this video and I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching